Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about kitchen sink realism. What was kitchen sink realism? Uh, in the late 1950s, so let me write down here, uh, late 1950s to early uh, 1960s. A number of postmodernist writers began to focus their work on domestic lives. So next uh, keyword for you is domestic lives. So they started focusing on domestic lives. And uh, if you don't know what postmodern modernism is, we will just talk about it. So there were some postmodernist uh, writers who started focusing on domestic life uh, of working class people. And uh, this working class environment was called kitchen sink or uh, this world uh, is called kitchen sink or kitchen sink the if we call it in short or we name it so it was simply a term for home but whose home it was working class person's home all right so here is the next term for you postmodernism if we talk about postmodernism, it was a literary movement that developed in opposition to modernism. Postmodernism was opposite, opposite to modernism. And it focused on uh, three things. First was postmodernism focused on intertextuality, inter Textuality. I have already made a video on this. If you don't know this term, you can search on channel. Second is metafiction. And third was they were focusing on self-reflection. Self-reflection. So these three things uh, you should know about this. We have gone uh, through the basic idea of kitchen sink realism. Now let's talk about its definition. So kitchen sink realism is a part of broader social realism genre. So if we talk about talking about kitchen sink uh, realism, it was a part of social realism. You can say social realism part of you can you can say part of social realism. Social, if we talk about social, what social realism is, it was a genre of literature that or that seeks to highlight the socio-political condition. So here we are talking about socio-political condition with extreme reality, brutal reality. We are, we are showing here brutal reality. Brutal reality. Now let's talk about its uh, origin. Origin of kitchen sink realism. So it was a critic, critic named David Sylvester. David Sylvester, who used kitchen sink school, he used the term kitchen sink school in 1954. <laughs> He used this term kitchen sink school. Uh, the year was 1954. It was the year 1954. He, he, he was trying to describe a group of painters. The group of painter was Buex. Buex Arts Quartet. <clears throat> Quoted. 
and if we talk about this group what uh, who are those uh, people who are in this group so it was group of four people and uh, the first was john john bradby they it was john bradby second was derek derek greaves second was derek greaves third was edward middle march middle tech sorry uh middle ditch and fourth was jack smith jack smith so it was origin of the name kitchen sink realism david silvester was the person and he used the term kitchen sink school and uh, he used this for a paint a group of painters buicks art squatted name of the uh, artist were now painters were john uh, bradby derek graves edward middleton and jack smith if we talk about its uh, examples now let's come to the next uh, slide so here are some uh, some of the books it was a novel first uh, novel the name of the novel was it was always rains on sunday sunday 1945 it got published in 1945 it was a novel it was written by arthur laber okay hopefully you have uh, written this here the author laban uh, presents the life of uh, sandigate family so you can write down here uh, for note making so this work was about a family it was sandigate family sandigate family alongside with the residents of coronet grove just before the outbreak of uh, world war 2 and uh, if we talk about the protagonist you can write down the name of the protagonist because it will help you in your exam it was rose sandigate rose sandigate if you want to uh, want to go through detailed novel summaries novel summaries and plays or dramas uh, you can join our video course in that you will find 40 uh, works in details and the poems as well next work next work is room at the top room at the top it was in 1957 by john brain so writer was john brain and uh, this is uh, the story of joy lampton joy lampton a young man with ambitious for a better life in post war britain uh, brian uh, presents the struggle faced by younger generation in post war so it is about younger generation problems problems you can uh, note down all these things because these are important he is uh, if we talk about the aspect of life for uh, work socio socio economic uh, problems he was trying to describe here <clears throat> now some of the important uh, plays you can keep in mind and if you are talking about kitchen sink drama or kitchen sink realism So here are some of the plays. First of uh, very important play. Hopefully you have studied that. Look back in anger. Look back in anger. 1956 it got published and uh, the writer is John Osborn. John Osborn and uh, we know the character 
of this or protagonist we can uh, call him it was jimmy the story of jimmy porter and his wife jimmy porter was uh, born into a working class family but married to a middle upper middle class woman and uh, his wife's name was elison and they didn't have a very good uh, relationship uh, they were uh, facing lots of uh, problems in their families and here he uh, talked about you know a very hard uh, hard reality or we can say harsh reality and uh, uh, here there is a conversation uh, piece between them uh, husband and wife if you could have a child and it would die if only i could watch you face that so here jimmy and alison are husband and wife okay at a time in which the the nuclear family was a prevalent uh, social norm the venomous statement this was a kind of venomous statement that jimmy would want to watch alison suffer as she loses a child comes across as, as both unsettling and uh, subversive of social expectations so this was the harsh reality that uh, people were uh, quite disturbed after world war next uh, play we can talk about a taste of honey a taste of honey 1958 and this was by shalak delany Salik Dreni, and uh, this is uh, the story of 17, uh, 17-year-old boy. Sorry, it was it was a girl, not boy, Joe, and uh, her mother. So it was story of uh, Joe and uh, Joe and her mother, Helen. so name of uh, the mother was helen jo and helen so this is uh, jo struggle with her relationship with herself and her mother who appears to always abandon her when needed so her mother abandons jo whenever she needs her mother <clears throat> now if we talk about characteristics let's talk about now characteristics of kitchen sink realism so first as we saw in every work <coughs> working class characters you will find working class characters in uh, uh, in in these works uh, working class uh, the settings are the same and uh, the subject matter working class subject matter you can see here second second thing is industrial north of england this was the place where all the works are uh, set so industrial it can be asked you industrial north of england so this is the uh, place so these plays were commonly set in the uh, industrial north of england <clears throat> they used uh, colloquial language here and the same place they used colloquial language of the same place uh, industrial north of england to um, make it uh, match with their settings they tried to describe some of socio political problems socio political problems they also try to tackle some of the taboo issue like uh, uh, classism classes and sexuality hopefully you understood uh, this topic well and uh, we have gone through the definition some of the important works we describe some of the 
characteristics of uh, this term uh, hopefully you understood all these things if you are interested in uh, any kind of uh, notes or pdf you can contact me on my whatsapp number 7409287156 with this uh, we end this video thank you so much for watching please do subscribe and share the video